これチャチャチャンネルちゃう Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about Kansai Ben grammatical expressions. Number one, do. It's a prefix that's often used in Kansai, arguably originated in Osaka. And both in Style Japanese and Kansai Ben, it's used for nouns and adjectives like do mannaka, do strike, do inaka. In addition to this, it's also used to curse at someone in Kansai Ben, like do aho. I said it in lesson one that aho is usually a friendly word to use in Kansai, but do aho is quite offensive. I'll introduce an example conversation pattern using it, but since it's offensive, be extra careful about if you want to use it. Kansai Ben, ichi bin no mo taiga ni se yo do aho ga. Stano Japanese, fuzakiru no mo sore gura ni shitoke o baka ga. Number two, Kate or katte. Seakate. This phrase means however and is often considered as an iconic Kansai Ben word, but it might be an, an old expression and people, at least in my generation, say soyakedo or seakedo more often these days. Anyways, kate often entails a negative expression like imasara itta ga de mani awa hen ya. For example, a Sino Japanese translation would be Imasara itte mo mani awa nai jan. Be careful not to mix it up with temo from Sino Japanese. Like you can't really say Uchi ga tabeta kate i for Watashi ga tabete mo i. That's not correct. Only when it's used as something something temo, something something nai can you replace it with kate. So let's practice Kansai ben. So n a koto yu da ga de deki hen mo wa deki hen ne. Sino Japanese. そんなこと言ってもできないものはできないよ。Another example, 関西弁。そんなん小学生がで知ってるわ。Style Japanese。そんなん小学生でも知ってるよ。Number three, me. Me itself is a colloquial expression widely used all over Japan. In Kansai, it's common to extend the last sound and say me, like kore mite mi instead of kore mite mi. So we say kaite mi, nonde mi. Itte mi, yatte mi, etc. Let's practice Kansai Ben. Kore me c h a m a i kara tabete mi. Sano Japanese. Kore to te mo i s h i kara tabete mi te. Number four, non. This is the Kansai Ben version of no or no mo no, but it's used only for pronouns like uchi non, ore non, boku non. So we don't really say it after a person's name like Tanaka non. It should be Tanaka no, just like Sano Japanese. Let's practice Kansai Ben. これ誰のあ、それうちの。Sano Japanese。これ誰のあ、それ私の。Number five. 何やって or やって or 何やって or やって。This is the Kansai Ben version of だって an indicator for hearsay information. Instead of やって or やって you can use the nen suffix I introduced in lesson three too and say nen te. But in the case of nen te, it's usually not used for past tense. For verbs, you use the plain style and ad n ya te or ya te, like taberu n ya te, tabenai n ya te, tabetan n ya te, tabenakatta n ya te. If you use nen te, taberu nen te, tabenai nen te. For e adjectives, you use the plain style and ad n ya te or ya te, like omoro in ya te, omoshiro ku nai n ya te, omoro katta n ya te. おもろくなかったんやって。If you use ねんて、おもしろいねんて、おもしろくないねんて。For na adjectives, you use the plain style and add なんやって、or やって、or just without なん。Like きれいなんやって、きれいやって、きれいじゃないんやって、or きれいやないんやって、きれいやったんやって、きれいじゃなかったんやって、or きれいやなかったんやって。If you use ねんて、きれいやねんて、きれいじゃないねんて、or きれいやないねんて。For nouns, you just add なんやって、or やって、or without noun to it, like 大阪なんやって、or 大阪やって、大阪じゃないんやって、or 大阪じゃないんやって、大阪やったんやって、大阪じゃなかったんやって、or 大阪じゃなかったんやって。If you use ねんて、大阪やねんて、大阪じゃないねんて、or 大阪やないねんて。
All right. The past tense of na adjective or noun datta becomes yatta in Kansai Ben. So we say yume yatta for yume datta, shizuka yatta for shizuka datta, sensei yatta for sensei datta, byoki yatta for byoki datta. Let's practice Kansai Ben. Ano futari tsukiyatte tan yatte. Sano Japanese. ano futari tsukiyatte tan datte. Another example Kansai Ben. 次の万博大阪で開催されるんやで。Sano Japanese. 次の万博大阪で開催されるんだって。Alright, that's all for it today. ほなまたね